you know, three and a half years ago, we was averaging 286 fans and we're now getting the best part of 2,000 supporters. Um, and, and, and the away the away trips, you know, we can be travelling up to three hours on a Tuesday night and, you know, getting a couple of hundred here and there. So the supporters play a massive part in it and, 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 and the lads come in the bar after the game and, and, and engage with them. And, and I think they, with that connection with the players themselves, it, it, it sort of inspires them to want to go and support them. In every in every way, shape, and form, whether it be Brackley out away or or Telford away, the this, this support's been unbelievable. It's, it's something that uh, over the years I've, I've found people are jealous of because they, they, they're surprised how it works. If, if, if it was me from the outside, I'd, I'd be asking the same questions: How does it work? I think it comes down to trust, um, and, and, and not always about who has the last say. If Anthony sees something I don't and and, and, and wants to go with his initial thought. You know, and we're laid back. We're not sort of at each other's throats with it. If I see something that he's not, you know, he's prepared to step down and just let me get on with it. And again, it's just about that trust. And we're good friends off the pitch. You know, I was his best man at his wedding. Um, so uh, things like that. You know, I trust him with my family. I trust him with everything. And, and, and I'd like, I'd hopefully like to think he'd, he'd say the same about me. If, if, if I was working with someone that I didn't know and trust, it, I, I, it wouldn't work at all. Because especially in football, there's too much backstabbing going about. Um, and, and, and if you're aware, if you know, we, we, if, if one of us gets in trouble at football, we both leave together. Um, that's in our contract. So it's the club have actually put us in a position where they trust us as a two. So we have to trust each other that either one of us are not going to step out of line. So that's that. That's that bond we've got. I, I, probably not. No, um, I, I think when the, the owners um, and Karen brought us to the table, I thought maybe. We were good at the level we were at and, and we proved that we could get out of them two leagues. However, since we've got out of them two leagues, we've, we've, we've gone on last season to compete in the uh, Conference North, um, got to the playoff semi-final uh, and then offers, offered us a full-time deal to, to, and that brings us to where we are now, seven points clear of the Vanarama. But I think for me and Anthony and the owners, I think they, they accept we're still learning and we're prepared to learn. Um, a lot of people fit, say it's, you know, it's bankrolled by multi-millions of pounds and, and it's, it, it, everything that year is not true. Lads have got to earn a deal just like everybody else has to, and, and, and if, if standards drop in terms of me and Anthony and the lads, you know, we, we make no bones about it, we'll be gone. When Jack's come down to Salford, I don't think he's realised the actual standard that he was playing at. Um, he had to accept it quickly because, again, at the higher level, you get a lot more time on the ball. Whereas here, you know. If, if you've got a centre half, that's my mark, and you, if you've got a toilet, it'll follow you. It's, it's as simple as that. You don't, you don't get a minute at this level of football. And I think Jack's starting to learn that. Um, and, and, and you can see his goals on Saturday. He scored four goals in 27 minutes or something like that. And he's starting to adapt to the level. He's, he's far superior as a player than this level, but you still have to adapt and, and, and play the game. And he, I think he's starting to do that. We went to Boston away on a Tuesday night. Uh, he was second from bottom and hadn't won in six. They put in a performance of a lifetime. We still won one nil, but we had to work for 96 minutes to get that performance. And if you reflect on the on the league and you see him second from bottom and only scored three goals in nine games, on paper it's a gimme. However, that weren't the case. We went there and they had a right go at us. And, and, and I said to their manager after the game, if they played like that every week, they wouldn't be bottom two, they'd be top two. So, yeah, yeah, the answer to your question is everybody raises the game and, and I think it's quite evident that. Again, you, you know, you've got to pay credit where credit's due to, to, to the scouts. They do, they do a lot behind the scenes and they, you know, they don't get a pat on the back for it. They do off me and Anthony. I think we put, a, we put a team together last season while we were still playing. Like I answered before, you're always trying to improve, so you start to highlight players throughout the season. And then we eventually put this squad together that we think we basically was to put our heads on the chopping board and say, this is the squad we want to win the league. If you can get us this squad to the owners, you know, we're confident we can compete. There's no guarantee you can win any, any, any league with any amount of money. It's, it's hard work working with players that have egos. And we've, put, we've assembled you know, a 16, 17 man squad in terms of new players and, and obviously retained two or three from last season, which is a massive amount of players to bring in and, and only have that six week period to work with them. And I think they've bought into what mine and John's philosophy is, which a lot of people say is effing and jeffing and screaming and shouting. If it gets us results, we'll continue to do that. The FA Trophy gives lads opportunities that haven't been playing over the last four or five games. And, and, and if the managers was to say that it was a distraction and it weren't our sort of 
you know, preparation, um, preparation, sorry, in terms of the game, you could lose that sort of momentum and that sort of desire to want to win the game. So we, we've got a box club with how we approach Saturday. If we was to lose, would we get, you know, would we be, be, be down? Yeah, we would because we want to win every game. But if we was to replace getting knocked out of the FA Trophy and winning the league, we'd, we'd take that now. comes down to, to, to the players and, and, and the managers that what culture we create you know that's that's the background me and John have been brought up in you know we, we were managing at Ramsbottom and it was a really did you say family orientated didn't you yeah. it was a really family orientated football club where I could bring my wife and the kids and they could play and go and climb on goals and they'd, they'd be allowed to go and do that I think with Salford and, and, and Gary you know more than more than anyone out of the five Gary's a family man he understands that you know good footballers have kids and wives and Salford don't ever want to take that out of what it is. Um, obviously, there's, there's restrictions. They don't want kids climbing on stop at stands and whatnot, but they're allowed to go and enjoy. You can see behind the stand, they're putting kids, they're putting bouncy castles on. and So I don't think they're ever going to try and, and, and come away from that family place. I think they want to keep it really family orientated and, and that's the reason they're investing into to family sort of, like I say, bouncy castles and face painting and whatsoever. So I think they're, they're big on keeping that family orientated place. Since we come in, we we, 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 we we were sort of said that we had we had two years to get a promotion, and and obviously we got back to back promotion. So for mine and Anthony's benefit, we feel like we've got two years in advance. So we've got four years to get out of this league now. But I don't think it'll work like that. But yeah, I think they had 2022, 2022. I think they wanted to be in the the, the, the championship. Um, however, you know they're ambitious. They, you know they've got. They've got the back in in terms of Peter Lim, so I think if the if the results are right on the pitch, we'll get the support of the owners and the back in to go right through.